Hello Aquarius, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. And about the three tarot, she'll read for you as well. Thank you. <clears throat> hmm. All right, let's see what's going on. Whoa, whoa. Nice. First card out, Aquarius, is you. Okay. But you're also showing me you again. <laughs> so that they, literally, Aquarius, you're kind of showing me there's two sides to me. Which side of me do you want to be on? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth, Aquarius? Many facets. Ooh, okay. Got it. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm gonna have to dissect this one a little bit, Aquarius, but we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. Careful, Aquarius. One more, and I'll jump into this. I'll say, careful. Um, oh, we could go there. What possesses you? Is it a thought? Is it an emotion? Is it a vision? Is it something? Is it someone? What possesses you? To do what you do. Not being a smart ass or anything. It's just an answer. Or it's a question because of what I'm looking at. Um, that's why I'm saying careful because knowing why you do things and knowing your shadow is very important. Um, to kind of, you know, guiding yourself, uh, you know, along your journey of life. But be careful with yourself. Um, be very self-aware and self-conscious. Otherwise, that energy that I'm looking at could turn out a different way. And, well, as you've noticed by the word I've used, I'll leave it at that. So jumping into this, Aquarius, you show me that you are strongly looking forward towards the future. More specifically, something just being done with and over. Um, I have to be honest, Aquarius, you're, you're showing me that you are dealing with two people here. Um, I feel like for you, even though these plans for closing something out and being done with something or maybe being done with someone, there's definitely some unfinished business there that you are having to kind of take care of and attend to. The longer you sit in this energy of just something is just getting your goat, as my wife will say and does say. The longer you sit with it, the longer you process it, the longer you digest it, you are realizing either one, you don't care about them, or two, <laughs> geez, whatever was getting you, you don't care about that. You're energetically saying, you know what, there's someone here that you are dealing with that you are definitely kind of holding yourself back from. And I feel like that ultimately is what you are closing that door to. Someone. Someone specific to you. You're saying, for my own emotional sake and well-being, it needs to be done with. It needs to be closed out. Now, that being said, moving forward, I do see there is a little bit of energy here about impatience to kind of, in a sense, feel on top of the world. You know, kind of uh, have things turn around for you in a positive way. 
Now you are showing me as well that you are in some sort of relationship or commitment, possibly a family situation with children and kids I'm looking at. Um, regarding your relationship though, there's a whole lot of confusion as to what to do about that to the point where it is causing it to kind of dig its way into your psyche. I feel like for you energetically, you're trying to come up with something that you just don't know. Now, whatever this energy is that you're sitting with, that's what's kind of digging its way into your mind. Just saw five, five, five. And there's a five, so. It's interesting. It's very interesting. Whatever, yeah, whatever that initial closure was, kind of going back to that, whatever that initial closure was, it almost kind of seemed and felt like um, you were, it's like you were almost anticipating and wait to see if anyone even acknowledged or noticed. And I don't know what that's about. If it's an energy of like, you know what? What if I just no longer care for someone? Will they notice? <laughs> it's like, what if they just realize like, yeah, I got nothing. It's like, hmm, interesting. Can the person that you're with, or can the person that you're committed to or married to, can they actually read you? Do they do they genuinely know who you are? Do they genuinely pay attention to you? Do they genuinely care about you? Are they genuinely interested in you? But moving back into this, I feel like you I feel like you just want answers. You just want answers. I mean, you're you're emotionally yearning for answers. You do find them. I'll give you that. You do find them. But the answers that you do find are having your situation progress in such a way where you're saying, I have absolutely no idea what's up ahead in my future. To the point where you're kind of saying, I feel like I need um, an escape plan, ultimately. I need an escape plan because the way things are moving forward, progressing, you can kind of energetically sense the momentum of things kind of picking up. Um, and what's interesting about this is there's definitely some sort of connection here between you and someone, but ultimately... I feel like because of the problems and the issues, it, it's in a sense kind of bringing the two of you closer together to actually make things right and ideal. And I kind of feel like at the same time, that's what you do want. So it's either going to be a make it or a break it moment. Um, but there's definitely a lot of consideration of how things are actually going to move forward and progress between the two of you. There really is. It's almost like bringing everything back to the basics of like, How's the actual connection with the two of you? Not just that you're you're married, you're committed, you're together, that's it, end of the story. No. How is the actual connection or actual relationship between the two of you? Is it equal? Is it ideal? Is it not? Um, it does show me that, but at the same time, like I said, you're, you're still focusing on, well, we're taking things slowly because um, we together are dealing with a lot and we're facing a lot together, clearly, and we need to kind of, you know, be steady with it. So, of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an air sign, a fire sign, a water sign, or an earth sign. They're all here. Goodbye.